Milling Through History presents The Unlikely Romancer. Europe is known for creating many individuals who were great romancers of their day. One such individual has found his romancing ability to come after rather unfortunate circumstances, for this is the story of Victor Noir. Born in Ivan Salmon, in 1848, he became a journalist in France and a symbol of opposition to the imperial throne of Napoleon III. When he became a journalist, Salmon wrote under the pen name of Victor Noir, deriving it from the maiden name of his mother. Joining the newspaper La Marseillaise, Noir was witness to editorial battles between two rival papers over the reign of Napoleon III. During these fierce exchanges, Prince Pierre Bonaparte, nephew to Napoleon and cousin to Napoleon III, wrote a letter to the editor of La Marseillaise, accusing him of using menial servants to attack his family. As the prince was not a public person, but rather a private citizen, he challenged the editor to a duel. The next day, Noir and Ulrich de Fonville went to the prince to settle the terms of the duel. This was a breach of etiquette, as the seconds in a duel are supposed to approach each other to settle the terms to any such combat. Prince Pierre did not like having to deal with the menial servants, and the resulting events led to a great deal of controversy. According to Fonville, Bonaparte struck Noir and then shot him. However, the prince claimed that it was Noir who, struck, who, was struck, who had struck the prince first, and then, pulling out his revolver, the prince defended himself. The royal court accepted the prince's account, and that became the official story. The unpopularity of the Bonaparte family continued to grow after the acquittal of the prince for the death of Noir. The funeral for Noir was attended by over 100,000 people. Eight months later, the Franco-Prussian War brought down the reign of Napoleon III and swept in the arrival of the Third Republic. In 1891, Noir's body was moved to Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. The grave was covered by a life-size statue of Noir, but immediately took on an urban legend status. A rather notable endowment of the statue was found, and an odd occurrence began. Women who came to the grave kissed the statue, placed a flower in his hat, and rubbed themselves against the statue were soon to become pregnant, have a vibrant sex life, or even get a husband within a year. The resulting popularity of this belief has led to certain segments of the statue to have a permanent polished gleam to it. The French government erected a fence around the statue, but it was torn down due to fierce protests by the female population of Paris. And so today it still remains a popular tourist attraction, at least for females, when it comes to going to Paris cemeteries. For more information, please consider these suggested titles. Be sure to click on the left-hand side of the screen to subscribe to our show, and on the right-hand side for our latest episode. And we will see you again for the next episode of Milling Through History.